So how do we actually scout for soybean aphids? We mentioned the threshold, 250 aphids per plant. That's a lot of aphids to count. Like I said, they're very small and you can see them. They'll develop in colonies that are pretty close together and they can be difficult to count. And counting a bunch of plants in a field to see if you have an average of 250 plants, aphids per plant, that's, that can take a lot of time and be difficult. Uh, the entomologists doing aphid research understood this, that this is, a, this is a good threshold, but actually scouting for it and implementing it will be challenging. And so they developed a method that's much easier to use to scout for soybean aphids called the speed scouting method. And there's a worksheet that you use, and if you go onto a search engine and you search for aphid speed scouting, you'll come up with this worksheet. And this worksheet makes scouting for aphids much more simple and rapid. You can literally scout fields just as fast as you walk. So let's demonstrate the speed scouting method that's been developed by researchers at the University of Minnesota. I've got my speed scouting worksheet right here on my clipboard. And so the first thing I do is I walk out into the field and I randomly pick one plant and I look to see if that plant has 40, less than 40 or more than 40 aphids per plant. Now for plants that have a few aphids, it might take a little while to calibrate yourself to see if it has less or more than 40. Pretty quickly, you're going to, to very quickly recognize that a plant has either less than 40 or more than 40. When I look at this plant that I just pulled, I have a few aphids on it, it's definitely less than 40. So I'm gonna put a, a minus there. Then I'm gonna walk 30 paces and I'm going to pick, randomly pick up another plant. And I'm gonna to look to see how many aphids are on that plant. And if I look at it and I see that it's got a, a lot of aphids on it, it's got some colonies on it, more than 40, I'm gonna plus, put a plus there. I'm gonna take another 30 paces in that field, randomly pick another plant, pull it up, and see if it's got less than or more than 40 aphids per plant. This one has less, and I put a minus there. So the first go around, I'm going to sample 11 plants just the way I talked about, going 30 paces, randomly picking a plant. If it has more than 40, I'm putting a plus. Less than 40, I'm putting a minus. So the first set of plants I did, based on the worksheet, 11 plants. And I determined whether they had more or less than 40 aphids per plant on it. When I got done, I ended up with eight plants that had more than 40 aphids on it. And when I look at my worksheet, it says that if I have six or less that I do not need to treat, come back in seven to 10 days and do another count. If I have five, uh, seven to 10 plants that have more than 40 aphids, that means that I sample another five plants. So that's what I would do in my case. I had eight that had more than 40 aphids. Now I'm gonna sample five more plants and do the same thing. Do they have more or less than 40 aphids per plant? So the next thing I do is I take 30 more paces, sample plants, 30 more, sample another plant and do five more plants and then come up with a number that have 40 or more aphids. In this case, I got three more plants that had 40 or more. So I have a total of 11 and I'm still in that category where it, it asks me to sample five more plants. I continue to do this until I either get a uh, don't treat and resample in seven to 10 days or I get a, a treat signal that I've got enough that it warrants treatment. And if I don't, by the end, the maximum I'm gonna sample is 31 plants. If at the end of sampling 31 plants, 23 to 26 of them are with 40 or more aphids, I'm still in that middle ground, and then I come back and sample the same field in three to four days, and determine at that point whether I get a do treat or a don't treat, or come back and later, uh, and scout three or four days later signal. So we've gone through the speed scouting method and like I was saying, when you get maybe even just five or 10 minutes of practice doing this, you can scout as fast as you can walk. And so there's really no excuse for not scouting fields for soybean aphid. There's a tremendous number of fields that get treated unnecessarily, wasting money, wasting the growers money, spraying for something that really hasn't reached economic threshold populations. Uh, at the same time, if you're not on top of it, not scouting, you can get in excess of of economic threshold populations and lose yield. And so scouting is something that, uh, that can be very easily learned and you can be very fast at it. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.